Hi guys, it is Sunshine. Uh, let me go over to my channel here and make sure that I'm live, make sure that people can hear me because I'm wearing my headset. And so I'm not sure. So I'll wait for someone to come by. Anyone. <laughs> um, I have been experiencing, well, here, let me just turn on my own thing here. Okay, I can hear myself. Okay, so I have been experiencing what I can only explain as a convergence of dimensional realities. And it's been there it's been happening not just in my recent uh, perception i don't have just recent perception of this this has actually been going on for a very long time and i'm and i'm almost willing to say that it may have been happening for most of us for most of our lifetime and some of these experiences that we've had in our lifetime that we look back and say to ourselves, that wasn't me. That, that's not who I really am. How could I have gone down that road or down that path? How could I have made those choices? And I'm beginning to think that it is because we experienced an actual uh, different dimensional um, part of ourself during that time. So I really didn't know that this was a thing. Um, Brandon Young really kind of helped me to remember that I had possibly, you know, come across this concept in, in physics and along the way somewhere. Um, but he did help me remember that. And that's just kind of, that's just it right there. It is the, we're experiencing a remembering of multidimensional realities converging back into one. So there's a few other things that have happened to me over the past week that um, have been pretty significant and and really kind of when another of those mind expanding uh, moments and there's a few people who um, have been a part of that, but in a very interesting way. Um, so there's someone who uh, writes a lot, and I read their their writings. I've been blessed enough to um, have been introduced to that, and it's very deep. Uh, I sometimes have a difficult time following, but um, more and more, it's things are making more and more sense to me. So before that happened, though, before I read that if, uh, earlier in the, the like a, you know over the past few days or whatever, I had another opportunity to have a conversation with uh, Rainbow Phoenix, Paula. Um, we hadn't talked in, in a year, basically. Um, and it was to, I reached out to her. We had already kind of broke the ice, but I reached out to her because I needed to clear some of my own integrity. And in doing that, I wanted to also kind of help heal or, or explain or whatever it was, 
you know, what had happened to me, which I had never, I've never really told the whole story to anyone. And that's not what I'm here to do today. But it was in doing that, that seems to have um, broken me free from something in, in, and all of a sudden it's almost like these floodgates are, are, have opened. Um, so I want to thank her really for that. And we're probably going to do a video and talk more about that. But if, if both of us had not, um, you know, really gone through our own significant transformation process, whatever, over the past year, we would not have been able to come together and have that conversation and do some really amazing healing and, you know, uh, for me, open up some floodgates. So that experience happened. And then right after that, I, I read this writing from this, this person, um, and it was titled Puppeteers. And all I had to do was read like the first couple of lines and literally my, my mind just, and I immediately began to write. And so that's kind of what I want to share with you all is what I've actually been writing over the past few days. I also find it uh, kind of synchronistic. I just got done watching a video by Enjoy Being, uh, his video about integrity. And, and I would please, please, everyone should go over and watch that video. It is really, uh, really, really good. And his depth of understanding and, and the, the, the words and what he's written there and shared with us is extremely profound and a part of this whole thing. And so I, th I think it's kind of interesting that, you know, I've been writing and, and obviously enjoy being has been writing and this other person's been writing. And, and so what is flowing out of us right now and, and is, I think that this is a contribution to all of that. Although I didn't really intend it to be that way, but it seems to all be synchronistic. So the, the reading that I, or writing that I read <laughs> was called Puppeteers. And again, the first line, couple lines, I just... And then I came over and I wrote this. I actually wrote it originally on an envelope because that was the closest thing to me. So this is what I wrote. And then I'm, I'm just going to kind of continue from there um, as with all the other things I've been writing for the past few days and just kind of go with the flow of my thinking. I thought about doing a video and or rewriting some stuff, maybe it whatever. Yeah, I don't have the time for all that, but I really do want to share all of this with you because this is what I'm experiencing. And what I've written, I think, will help explain why I feel that way. What I can tell you is that I've um, experienced and then hopefully um, open your minds to another sensory perception of this experience yourself um, and being able to uh, see those other dimensional realms for yourself. So here we go. So my response to puppeteers was puppets. Free me, free me. Oh, I am the master of mine own ship. And she screamed to herself from within, I am you me. Was that herself in another realm calling through? Alice in Wonderland in the Wizard of Oz on a magic carpet ride with Puff the Magic Dragon? Om Mane Padme Hum. One minute it's a party with riders on the storm. The next minute it is what it is. So that just came flowing out of me and that scream 
and she screamed to herself from within, I am you, me. That was, I literally, I literally did that from within. And when I say you, me, it was a simultaneous, at the same time, a scream of I am you and an I am me. And as though there was another self that I was hearing. And so this, so let me just continue. I know she was me calling from another dimensional reality. She is me. Mind blowing, right? Sensory discernment. I've witnessed with my own eyes a glitch in the matrix. Digital imagery, it's all over the place. And I literally have, I've shared this story before, standing outside, turning to my side and seeing my shed in the backyard, literally glitched like the hologram, like on Star Trek. I didn't know that this was a sensory perception experience, or at least I didn't label it as such, but it was a sensory perception experience. Imagine dragons, oh yes. Not just the name of a band. I've seen them. Open your eyes and you will too. Ancient Chinese and Japanese and even our own modern fascination. Do you really think our children's cartoons don't contain the programming? At the very least, a piece of the truth in order for the deception to work? I have many different thoughts about what the dragons are, but I have a visual sensory perception of them um, in the sky. And again, sensory perception, I don't know why. I think that I first saw them digitally and being a digital photographer and paying attention to detail and seeing patterns, I think that that's where my mind was open to perceiving it visually. And so then it came out of the digital realm and into my, my 3D realm of experience. Blah, 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 I digress. Yet yeah, anyone who knows, knows that mind boggles occurring on a daily basis. And that's how it is for me. On a daily basis, there's something new that boggles my mind. So back to the point. I've talked about what I've been able to see for quite some time now. Sensory perception. When you break free from the des desensitizing program, hello, talk about opening up the floodgates. Could all these serious... I can't even read my own writing. Can all these serious, absolutely ridiculous things are happening, things that are unexplainable, that are so far out of the realm of our knowing as ever being plausible, let alone possible? But they, then again, if you believe, like I do, that anything is possible, this is the magic. Anything is possible. That childlike passion of wonderment, our innocence, our essence, fragmented into compartmentalized thinking. The bliss, the purple plasma, the ether, creator energy. Is the ethernet net cable connected to the hive mind, the internet caught in the web? I don't think it's connected to the heart mind. Sensory perception. When was the last time you were tuned into your heart mind? What does it feel like? What does it say? Just like how our brain mind rambles on endlessly all day long, our heart mind doesn't ever stop either. Which one are you choosing to tune into and listen? So what kind of activity takes place in the other hallucinations and the other multidimensional realities, realms, games, all the world's a stage places, energy vibration. 
succubuses, vampires, astral rape, baby eaters. Oh yeah, don't believe me? Just listen to what the Virginia state governor is saying. If you haven't looked into that, I would suggest you look into that. There is a clip from Alex Jones on on Oh my gosh, like Joe Rogan, uh, where there's the governor is clearly, yeah. So, but yeah, don't think that it's not happening and hasn't been happening. But is that just like another dimensional realm bleeding through? Because some of these things are just so impossible to think that our humanity can actually engage in. The humanity that our higher self, anyway, inner knows already. He's talking about newborn healthy babies, keeping them alive to harvest their organs. Yeah, I don't know what dimensional reality that is, but I don't think it's one that we all are choosing. But it seems to be here. So today, I started thinking what would it be like to be hyperborean? What would our sensory perception be being hyperborean? They, uh, they, us, are the least fragmented of realms, the purest of light energy being. The convergence of all light vibration, sound vibration, sensory vibration, where there is no thing, no thought, no words. Simply the expansion of being, creator energy. Innocence, integrity, passion, joy, wonderment. I've seen the armada in the sky. What character do we play out in that realm? the kings and queens, the empresses, the fool on his journey. There is nothing new under the sun. And in, in all these dimensional realms, I'm just sensing that we're playing out all of these, these, these different possibilities, but they're converging. And that's the experience that I'm beginning to have. And I think that the convergence is elevating us. It, it is the, like the remembering of our fragmentation. The pyramids are not from this realm originally. I have seen the bleeding through of other pyramids that aren't here yet, but are here. They're here in another dimensional reality. And I think that's where the pyramids that we that are left here, grounded here during the last convergence. That's a thought. I see them bleeding through now. I see the creatures in the trees. The the they mean us no harm, but they're there. Again, it's a bleeding through of another dimensional reality, and it is a kind of light perception in our ability to be able to see them because it's a, just a, simply a different play on light and shadow. Just like this reality is a construct of light vibration and sound vibration, so are all the other realms. And now that they're converging, it's it's simple to begin to see them once you open your sensory perception to them. It's just a shift in our visual perception in the way our mind interprets light and shadow, the contrast within the construct. I think the 3D experience 
is a sensory experience, a sensory perception experience necessary to remember re dash member <laughs> to remember the realms to remember ourselves we've become so fragmented within the 3d construct with our compartmentalized thinking with our programming to think with our our brain mind rather than our heart mind because in our sensory experience, we feel everything through our sensory experience. Everything we feel comes from our sensory experience. So in the 3D, I mean, how awesome is that? It's like, trying to think our way through this thing when really we should just be experiencing the sensation of it through our sensory perception and what we feel in doing that we choose that we choose our perception we choose our perspective we choose our projection of it the 3d experience is like the alchemy of purification so that we can get to Hyperborean, uh, unless Hyperborean is even, I don't think even Hyperborean, well, I don't know, that's kind of hard to say. Maybe it is just another dimensional realm of our remembering. I don't know if it's actually the creator space because that's really the no thing. So I don't know, I had a thought yesterday that divine creator energy is integrity. So there's a purification that's going on here so that we can get to integrity, so that we can be the divine creators that, you know, that we are meant to be. Anyway, every moment is a new knowing, a new knowing. The, the rush of convergence, it's, it's, such a, it's, it's a quickening of time, a swallowing of space through the eye of a needle into the no thing, into the bliss where a star is born. It all seems, feels magical, mystical, seemingly impossible. Comprehending that all matter of nature is alive. Rocks are alive. Then you will see them move and transform. But that takes a shift in our own sensory perception of like what we've been told things can and cannot do or that things are and are not. That even, you know, colors, redefining color as a sensory experience <laughs> rather than this whole thinking experience of what color is, what is blue? What if blue is something that we can actually, well, Bibi was just talking about it yesterday, how she can, what's she saying? That she can smell color, something like that, or hear color. That's amazing. It makes me think that life is but a dream. And I think about the red kachina and the blue kachina. And being a photographer, I, I recognize that what a red filter and what a blue filter does. They're color filters. And I think that, they're, that it, it's here, these heavenly bodies. <laughs> for the color filter so that we can see what we don't normally see. A diffusion filter, you guys would be, it would be mind blowing to you. I, mean, I should show you, maybe I will at the end of this. A diffusion filter, when placed on a camera, sees gases in different color light spectrums so that you can identify a gas by what color is seen through a diffusion filter. It is amazing 
what this world looks like through that filter. It's something completely different and it's incredibly, incredibly beautiful. And I bet you if I showed it from what I hear, since I've never traveled the astral or to any of these other places <laughs> that, that, uh, or had a psychedelic experience, I've never done psychedelics. So, but I imagine from what I hear that what I see using a dif differential filter on a camera Sounds quite similar. The colors are amazing. My hearing sensory perception has changed also. I am beginning to hear energy in waves. The energy waves, actually. It's like when the tires of a car go by on the road... I hear that there's a vibration, a different kind of vibration in it. If the 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 weed whacker or the the lawn blower thingy, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. There's I can hear the vibration of the energy in in it's different. I didn't used to hear that kind of thing. It makes me wonder if it's the sound is bouncing off of, I don't know, the dome, the firmament. I mean, now the moon is in our Earth's atmosphere. Is that another sign of convergence? Shit, maybe sound is bouncing off the moon differently than it used to because it's closer now <laughs> all of a sudden. I don't know. But something's different in my hearing sensory perception. Makes me think of the sky is falling or breaking through the glass ceiling. Like when Willy Wonka's elevator crashed through the glass dome, the skylight. I don't think these are just coincidences, folks. And then I think of the, the saying, for those with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Hello, sensory perception. Sensory perception, sensory discernment, sensory projection. And I think if we become masters of our sensory experience within the 3D experience, then we begin to feel everything very differently. And in, in the feeling of bliss is where creator energy is for me. So I think it's all really cool. So one of the things that I started to think about is has the, how long has this convergence been going on? And I look back at my experiences and I say to myself, well, that is so crazy beyond, like, how is it even possible that that happened? That I wonder if it was myself <laughs> experiencing a bleed through of another realm. Just a thought. That's kind of what I feel like is happening to me sometimes. And I think it's because my sensory experience is really changing. And I do feel a, a, a convergence and I do feel a quickening. Uh, I do feel, oh, here, here you go, Tataria. You know, where did that come from? And um, why is it all of a sudden? Or... You know, I'm sure that there's some who have been tuned into there for quite some time, but for now, but it's it's quickening the in, and it's becoming more uh, into our our into this realm of our experience. Is that because of convergence, or is that because we just tapped into it? Is that because this whole time thing is just really beginning to be turned upside down? And, and you know, I've talked about the three hours missing out of every day. And then I start thinking about 
how some of these timelines just make absolutely no sense and actually how plausible is it is that some of these timelines could be far, far less. And, and is this, you know, this convergence into the pinhole just tearing away our whole concept of time and space? I mean, it's really a cool thing. But I think the whole idea is to really just take advantage of the 3D experience because I don't think in any other dimensional realm that that there is this kind of opportunity. There's something special about right here. And I don't know, maybe you would call that ego. You know, hey, we're better than any other realm. I don't know, <laughs> shit. But there seems to be something, you know, I've heard it talked about. It's not a rabbit hole that I've gone down, you know, but I've I've heard it spoken of on the fringes, this whole, you know, the opportunities that are of that avail us here seem to be something very different and unique within the universe. Because so far we haven't found any other us out there we're getting closer but are we just creating that that's a that's a whole nother rabbit hole <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to really throw it out there um and and you know uh maybe some some other people too are beginning to experience uh sensory perception differently and or have been for a long time, but haven't been able to talk about it because, you know, yeah, people think you crazy if you say that the rocks and trees are moving around like they're creatures, living creatures. Well, they are, and they do. Or at least they are, and they do in another dimensional reality, which is beginning to bleed through to here. That I know for sure is happening. Something like that is happening. So when I look at some of the the experiences and the inter interactions and the synchronicities and um, it just it, it's it doesn't really surprise me, but I want to to really experience it to the fullest. You know, so meditation zone, yeah, it has its benefits and all of that, but you know boots on the ground in the 3D experience and really opening ourselves up to the, the full advantage of this amazing opportunity that we have to experience here and to actually meld with it in such a different way. I get excited when I think about that being able to do that more and more and, and really it, it's kind of like the feeling of childlike wonderment when you discover something new. I guess it's no different than learning how to ride a bike, sensory perception, you know. It, I suppose in a way that's kind of like how magic must work too for those of you out there who practice magic. I'm feeling some pretty cool magic right now. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it as a short one. I just wanted to share what I wrote, kind of share what I'm experiencing right now. It's a very cool thing. Like I said, I feel like some flood for me, a bunch of floodgates have opened up. I'm so, so, so grateful. I'm really feeling the creative and creator energy. I'm working a lot. I'm just really enjoying life. I'll tell you, just being able to write again. I love writing. I, I've, written my whole life and just to be able to feel that creative energy again right now it could bring me to tears <laughs> i 
they're happy tears. <laughs> So thank you everyone for being here. I haven't been paying attention to chat. I kind of wanted to just talk my way through this one. But I love you all. Thank you for being here. If you all haven't gone over and seen Enjoy Being's video on it about integrity, absolutely fantastic. Enjoy Being. Very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and thank you to Trey whoever and wherever you are because <laughs> uh, your writings inspire me uh, equally so and um, and all of you inspire me and Omar I haven't read your email yet but I'm going to I want to be able to really focus on it because I know when I read it my mind is going to go <laughs> So I'm getting there, but I haven't forgotten. And um, yeah, just thank you guys. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all soon. I hope you're having a great afternoon, evening, night, morning, wherever you are around the world. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now.